time, at all time, because he, see, he is the Alpha, and he's the beginning. He started a life with you, with me, and he will finish it. Whenever we allow him, hello. When we, um, when I signed this um, life insurance, I had to read terms and conditions and sign it. The same way God has terms and conditions in his life. How many knows that? God has a lot of conditions, a lot of terms in order for us to pass to the other life. And that thing is everyday thing. And that's why I am um, searching the mind of God. He stopped me to read about the thing, the second death. I'll be talking today about the second death. Nobody wants to go there because that's not supposed to be for the Christian. It's not supposed we pass for a second death, but my wife has a, a, a trip to hell itself. God took him to hell. And there's only two things uh, important that the, the angel of the Lord, a strong, mighty angel was uh, in, front of, in front of you, correct? In front or behind you, not behind her. She was walking and the angel was behind her, making sure no demon in hell would ever touch her. Two things that I never forget. One, she saw demons. Not little demons, but specialized to bring down the servants of God. Number one, special demons. Because it doesn't take little demons to knock you down. It takes special demons to knock you down because the blood of Jesus is upon us. How many knows that? And those demons especially also attack the pastors, evangelists, prophets, uh, whatever else. And the second thing is that she heard uh, a wail. Why? I, 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 pain. And people crying. And she's, she asked, like, what is that? Wailing. And she said, those are the ones that used to serve your master. Hmm. Tell your neighbor, this is serious business. This is serious business. Walking with God is more serious than we think. Because salvation is at stake every moment of our lives. The devil never sleeps. Never rest. He's always under attack. He are there. Even though we protected, they never, ever stops. How many knows that? Never. Tell your neighbor, don't fall asleep. Mm-hmm. That's why we have to be aware at all times. The time of sleeping has to end, has to finish. And we have to wake up. Wake up while we're walking with God and do our best to show our Father that we mean business. Amen. Praise the Lord today. I was uh, watching, I was checking my phone. I went to YouTube and I see a sign that says, uh, uh, videos for your interest, so uh, watch this. So, okay, let me see. When I saw, oh no, it was called Embarrassed Moments of People. Listen to this, that there was a liar. So when I start looking the videos, the first thing that shows uh, is uh, somebody uh, giving the news, uh, broadcasting the news, and a woman comes and she turns, and she bends, and the, the, uh, the dress is ripping too. So, she shows the behind. I said, whoa. So I stopped looking at it because my wife was talking. And all of a sudden, when I kept looking, there was porno in that video. And she said, what? What are you looking at? I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, the antenna went up. I said, wait a minute. I said, the devil is a liar. How many know that, that you have to be all the time awake? Awake. That showed me that we need to be awake at all times because the devil, the devil, uh, changed his clothes. Uh, uh, he dresses. Uh, I said, why is she? No, 
And he talks the same. He's, how many knows that the devil is speaking tongues? Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes, he speaks in tongues. He sees in the church. Hello. Uh huh. He sees in the church and see who he can touch. You know, sometimes when we in church, we fall asleep. You know, that's a demon by itself. Whenever I tire, you know what I do? I go to the bathroom and wash my face because I'm not going to allow the devil to make me fall asleep in the service. Hello? That's a trick. Tell your neighbor, don't fall asleep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So today we're going to the word in the book of Revelation, chapter 20. God help me. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. What are we talking about today? The second death. Revelation chapter 20. And I saw a great white throne and, in, and him that sat on it from those face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead. I see that small and great stand before God and the books were opened Jesus and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works Verse 13, and the sea gave up the dead which, which were in it, and the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And warning, whosoever was not found written in this book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Tell your neighbor, your neighbor watch out. Mm -hmm. This is called the judgment of the why throne of God. Many scholars and many people say that this is not, this judgment is not for the church. The church is already in heaven. But nevertheless, the terms and the condition of these people applies to you and me. There's no difference. Whether it be for the wicked ones, whether we, for whoever it is, the terms is the same thing. The same thing. God says the word neglect. That we, all of us, has neglect God. Because we could do better than what we're doing. That we should be burning in fire, not in the church, out of the church, at all times. Doing, walking, and talking the same way we are. Meaning business for the Lord. Working all the time. Even though we don't have much time, but the little time that you have, you need to be connected, looking to see how are you going to make it. How are you, what difference in your life uh, you're going to do for the Lord God Almighty. Because we are nothing without God. Amen. It took me so many years to understand that my life belongs to him. Not my life is anymore. It took me so long because I kept neglecting and doing what my flesh wanted to do. What my will wanted to do. But I understand that through the circumstances of life, uh, through the ups and downs, because God is love, but also is consuming fire. Hallelujah. 
And we keep forgetting that God wants no one to experience second death. And he saw a great white throne. Everything in the Bible, colors, numbers, places, means something. Why the throne is white? Why is not red? Why is not black? Everything in the Bible has a meaning. Everything, everything, everything. When I read, I say, okay, here we see color white. It's a great throne. First of all, all the things of God are great. How many serve a great God? John so great because everything in heaven is great. In heaven, there's no such thing as problems, needs, sickness. This is none of that. There's a promise of God that he will wipe out every tears of your eyes. Oh, how many blessings then today? God is good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good. Oh, my God. Jesus. Say with me, white. white. The color white in the Bible means holiness. Amen. Hello? One amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, holiness. holiness. Because God and everything with him is holy. God is holy. Amen. And I was thinking that holiness is so difficult, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a lie of the devil himself. To be holy is not really so difficult because God will not ask you to be holy because he's holy unless he knows that you can be holy. Hello. God makes sense in everything he says. And prob the problem is with the holiness that we don't find the door. The door. We don't practice the commissions and the missions uh, and all the things that God, de God demands uh, to serve him. How many knows that he's our father? Yes. Is there a relationship between son and God or God and son? Hello? Whenever I pray, I say, God, I know you with me. Amen. What I want is me be with you. Amen. Because all the things that I pass by all, the, all day long, the stress, the traffic, the work, and the headaches, takes me away from you. Can I have a witness here? So I have learned to shut down like seven times a day. Because I, I have got, thank God I, I'm able to do that. Shut down. I just close my eyes for a minute. Sometimes I'm, my eyes are, are open, but I'm not really here. I'm connected. Connected. Uh, thinking about the world. Thinking about what I can do. Uh, thinking about our church, Pastor David, my brother, my sister. The thing is, uh, connect in the world that I... Every day, every day, I got a word. Every day, every morning, every morning. The first thing that I do, my wife is the witness. When I get up, the first thing is hit the Bible. Yeah. Every day, every day, every morning, first thing. And that word yeah. sustains me yeah. all day long until next day. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, learn. learn. Uh -huh. that, was, that was taught by the Holy Spirit. So what we do is connect as much as you can acknowledge God. Listen, I'm telling you what God told me to say. Acknowledge the door. In every little things that you do, acknowledge him. Father, thank you for the parking lot. Father, thank you. You gave me $2 to buy a sandwich. Father, thank you for the food that I need. Remember, those got nothing to eat. Father, thank you because today you woke me up. Yeah, right. thank Father, you. thank you for the ride. Thank, thank you for the car. Thank, thank you for the woman that you gave me. Thank you, thank you for the a dollar that I had in my pocket. Many people don't have nothing. Thank you. thank you for the water. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A hundred times a day. Thank you, Jesus. If you start every day to practice connection. You don't need to pray three hours. You don't need to do big things. It's so easy to connect. Because the word is inside of you. Unless uh, you don't, you, you're a hypocrite. And I believe there's no hypocrite in here. Hello, somebody. 
if the word, listen to me, if the word is in you, you cannot be quiet. You can't. You can't be quiet. You cannot. Because the word of God is alive. It's alive. Sometimes when I'm reading in the morning, I cry like a baby. One word, it knocks me down. It knocks me. Unless you have a sensitivity problem. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't feel, this is not about feeling. It's about experiencing God and his ways and he walks and the word and everything regarding God. It's about experience every day and night, wherever you are, experience it. That's why the, the color white means is the robe. It's a robe that you and I, you and I are wearing every day. It's called holiness. It's a robe. The color white is a robe that you have and I have, and he helps us, and he pushes us to be straight wherever you are, when nobody sees you. Who can hide from God? Sometimes we, 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 we lie to ourselves, and we think that God is not watching. Look at the word, what it says. That God sent for the dead in the sea, in hell itself, because nobody can run from God. Nobody. And God what wants is that we don't experience second death. I keep reading. Verse 12. And he saw the dead. Great, small, and great. Say with me, small and great. Small and great. We're in front of God. <laughs> when I kept, I kept looking at the world, small and great. You know how, how many people want to be great? Are famous? Have glory and honor and power and everything? That's good. I have seen people, including me, that God gave me glory and power, and I went down with it. Yes. Why? I did not know how to handle it. Hello, somebody. I did not know how to handle it. And it happens to, and we know so many people that after God blessed them, put name, glory, they popped off. To talk to them, you need an appointment. Do you know anybody like that? No, you don't. It's only us. That we're connected with those type of people. Seriously. You need an appointment, and it's not going to be today. And you call up the hook, they're never available. And then, when the books are open, oh. you know what it means when the books are open? You know what it means, the book, not the book of life. You know what it means, the books are open? Opens books. It's not one. It's not two. I don't know how many. But those books is a resume of you and me. And he says in that word that we going to be judged according to the book. Hello, somebody. Amen. You know, when I was reading all of that, well, even though it don't apply to us, but the same concept, it goes to us. I said, God, have mercy. Have mercy. And I said, yes, I have it. But very soon, the mercy is going to be over. How many knows that? The one day soon is going to be, it's called the day of the Lord. And judgment starts where? In the house of God. It's not outside. The judgment starts in the house of God. Oh, I don't hear no praises now. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't hear no praises. Fasia, I'm very worried. Is anybody who could praise him now? Yeah. Who wants to be judged? Raise your hand. How many? Uh huh. Listen. When God judges, it's not to bring you to hell. The judgment of God refine you. It's purified fire 
to take away all the things that are wicked inside of you and me and take away and present you holy unto him. Yes. Now, if you don't pass the process, then you're in trouble. Amen. How many knows that the process of God is not easy? That sometimes we feel like we want to give up and surrender all and bye-bye, Charlie, I don't know you. Listen, nobody's upset of those thoughts. Pastors, evangelists, apostles, whoever it is, always go there. Amen. When pastor told me, bring the word, say, okay. I was so busy, I couldn't, I couldn't really, I couldn't. And I noticed something. That if we put the things of the world in front of the calling of God, I say calling. Who has a calling here? Raise your hand. No, no, raise it up so the devil could see it. Who has a calling? Yes. Calling. Hallelujah. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody's called. Yes. Even though you don't, you don't lift up your hand, everyone that is sitting here is called. Yes. Now, second point is to be chosen. Many are called. But a few, I wonder why, a few are chosen. Why? Because the process. How many times what involved in the things of life, you name it, problem in the family, finances, sickness, needs, you name it, all the things that we go through here. How many knows that this is not our home? <laughs> How many knows that? The, pro the problem is, we know this is not our home, but we attach to the things of the home. All the gadgets that we attach to, the house, the car, the business, whatever, the wife, the whatever, 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 the situations, everything, we attach. And we allow, or we give room to those things, and those things detach us from God. Amen. We understand the concept of connection very easy in cell phones. Easy. We understand that. Yeah. And we look for the best career. When it's not at and it's tomorrow. Verizon is the best one. But we understand that. But that's another connection that is called Holy Spirit. Amen. How many knows that Holy Spirit is inside of you? Yeah. How many knows that? Yeah. I don't hear that, man. Amen. Yes, it is. And there's a connection. Every day, every second, wherever you are, between the Holy Spirit that is in you and yourself. Because it's the Holy Spirit, what it is, is the Spirit of the Father. You know, God is so good. Say with me, Father. I don't know about you. My father was messed up. Messed up, messed up greatly. But I love him. Even though he was messed up, I love him. He was my father. But how about the Heavenly Father? That is better than your earthly father. Amen. That he look out for you every yeah. minute, yeah. second, yeah. millesimum of second of your life. Yeah. If you're here sitting down, if we're here, you know why? Because God's mercy is upon you yeah. and I. Yeah. We deserve it. No, we don't. And then that connection, we had to start cleaning whatever obstruction is between the spirit of the father and you and me hello somebody say so we make connection connection very important Con why why connection because the connection lead us lead us in life wherever you need to go whatever you need to do you know what it is that the holy spirit tells you no in every situation that you ask god and the holy ghost say no how many knows the holy ghost is sweet how many knows his voice? Yeah. When God says no, you know what you feel in your heart? Restless. Yeah. Anybody experience that? Yeah. When God talks and you ask and you wait and you feel restless about something, that means God is not there. Yeah. Because it's warning. Thank you. It's a warning. Warning. I like that word. It's a warning. It's a warning telling you no. 
if you do it, consequences are coming. Amen. Let me tell you about consequences. Everybody's been through it. The problem with consequences is that what we don't learn with the consequences, our life is at stake. Because if you don't learn, God is going to whip you. And, you know, God whips is different. Sometimes he whip you, get you sick, get you something, take you away, kill you. Not kill you. God doesn't kill nobody, but take you with him. You know why, you know why God takes people? I said, why? Why God allowed that? Because when God takes somebody because he's going to a better place, we don't want to let go because we attach to people. But if we can only see where the death of God in God goes, we say, please, by all means, take them. Hello, somebody. Amen. Take them. From the dead, from the seat, from the bed, God takes his people to a better place. Tell your neighbor, have peace. Say with me, warning. How many knows the Holy Spirit warnings? Hello, somebody. No, no, for real, speak loud. Do you recognize Holy Spirit's warning? How you, how, how you feel it? What do you feel? I feel pretty good. You, no, 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 no. Holy Spirit warnings. Where are you? I never really expected. Uh, I never really expe experienced that. I guess. You never experienced warning? No. God bless you. <laughs> you good warning. When the Holy Spirit warns you, um, he, like for me, my experience, yeah, yeah. he comes sharp. He gives me. A, he's like either yes or no. Mm, like, yeah. and I, I gotta follow it. Mm. That's how the Holy Spirit works mm. with me. Mm. He tells me, you do this. And like he speaks mm. sometimes, mm. like he, with me, mm. he speaks sharp. Mm. Sharp. Sharp. Listen yes. Sharp. Meaning I, I mean it. In my job, there's a device. It's called mobile eye. The first day that I experienced that, it was a devil by himself. I almost lose it, break the glass. Destroy the machine because that thing, what it does, it's a device for you to drive as the machine wants you to drive, not the way you drive. You will drive like an old lady because if you step out of the lane, beep, 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 beep. It, it's so annoying. If you go beyond the limits, Beep, 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 beep. If you go uh, too close to a car, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> if you make a left turn and see people crossing, that's the worst. That's the worst. It goes ballistic. I say, God, I'm not blind. I see people. I got so pissed. I almost ripped the thing off. It's a warning system. And then I said, one day, or I learn how to drive like this demon wants me to drive, or I lose the job. So now, every time it shows a, a little display, 2.5, meaning you're good in the distance. If you're getting close, beep, beep. I'll say, okay, 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 sorry. So we are communicating all day because I'm tired of the warning. My wife knows that I told her, mommy, I almost lost it. I almost destroyed the thing, that demon. But the same way, the Holy Spirit is just like that. Because we, what happened is that the Holy Spirit doesn't allow you to do what you want to do. Even praise in the house. Uh huh. It doesn't. You and me. It doesn't. Uh huh. Ay, ay, ay. Mm hmm. 
Many books were opened, which is the other book, the book of life. Say with me, the book of life. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, it's good that the demons subject to you. Listen to this. That's Jesus talking. But it's more important that your name is not erased from the book of life. Hello, somebody. You understand the seriousness of this? What he means by that? We all do the same. We heal the sick, we shout, we, with this, with that. But God was telling me that we have to go to the next station now. That the fear, the fear, the fear of God has to be installed in everyone that is listening to my voice. There's no time to waste time. There's no time to play church. It's time to praise the Lord. I wish you talk to me. I need a witness here. We take salvation very lightly, extremely light, very light. And the praise of salvation is nothing but the blood of Jesus. And God told me many times, neglect, 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 neglect. We are supposed to do it better. As time goes by, older and better and wiser. Hello, somebody. Because we are where we are in the last times. Hello, somebody. Don't you see? Don't you see all around that everything is going from bad to worse? The signs are there. Yes. One by one is fulfilling. Yes. The coming of the Lord is near. Amen. So what we have to do, get ready. How many are ready? Amen. How many are preparing? Amen. No, no, I want to hear you. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Yes. Lift up your hands. How many are preparing? Yes. You might not be ready, but you're preparing. Amen. You know what to do. You know the consequences. Yes. You know the terms, the conditions. You know it. How many are preparing? Yes. Say with me, yes, Lord. Yes. Lord. yes. Mm. We're moving to the next step in the spirit. I wish you could hear. Those who are in the spirits only can understand what I'm talking about. How many knows that the spirit have levels? Yes. The connection with the spirit has levels. It all depends how much time you you spend connected. That depends your connection with the Holy Spirit. Then you will understand the times and the season that we live in now. I don't need not. <laughs> I could see. Oh, that's why I put the international news to see what's going on. Amen. Don't you see the last law that they did in New York City? About the children that are born from now on. They have the action to say. Girl or boy or neutral. Hell. Hello. Don't you see the work of the devil little by little by little by little by little? It's time for the church to speak up and say, no way, devil. I wish I could have a witness here. It's the time that you get up, you wake up. And you let God to use you wherever you are. Amen. And then you will see good things in your life. Because we like the good things of life, but everything has a price. Yes. Hello, and it is not cheap. Right. Hello. Everything in, 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 in the things of life has a price. Yes. And this is not for weak people. I'm sorry. The Bible says it's the only valiant. Correct. Only, how many valiants in the house? Oh my God, three. How many valiant in the house? <laughs> Listen, only, the Bible says, only the valiants will take it by what? Force. Give me praise in the house. Force. We are war. We are war. I'm tired 
Oh, my devil taking my finances, my health, my family, my kids, everything that I own, my car, everything that God put in my hands is time of war. Does anybody want to go to war? Pastor, are we on war or not? We're moving to another location. It's nice and well. How many been there? Do you think it's been easy? Do you think that the devil was quiet? We already war. Because the devil doesn't want us to move. Nobody knew that. It's been hell itself. I had the witness here. Yes or no? It's been trial after trial. And many, many, not you, but the guys that are not here, get desperate. Oh, no, I'm tired of the church. When, 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 when. But you don't open your eyes to the spirit and see what's going on. It's our house. Pay with my ties and my sweat. Does anybody care about that? Like in the prophets, they say, your house is nice. It's full of good things and huge. But how about my, how about my, how about my house? How about my house? Hello, somebody. If only three of us are at war and the rest is sleeping, we're going no way. Stand up with me. The people is going to war. Stand up and say, yes, I'm going to defend this house. Stand. Lift up your hand. Say, yes. You don't have to do anything. Just pray, 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 pray all the time. Day and night, day and night, day and night. We're dealing with heavy demons here. We're dealing with heavy demons. They don't want us to move. There's, there's things on the way that are moving. We can give details. Just pray, pray, pray. Pray. Cross your eyes and lift out your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, every demon from hell itself that comes against our new house, every person that the devil is using, every instrument, everything that comes against this house, God, your word declares. <laughs> The hell itself cannot prevail against the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Lord, we declare the blood of Jesus uh, on every chair, on every room, in everything, every dollar that comes and goes. Uh, the work, speed up the work, God. Uh, speed up. Uh, and we put a wall of protection on those places, uh, in every stairs, uh, every word, God, fill that place with your glory. Fill that place with your glory. Fill that place with your power and glory and honor. For you is the glory and honor, God. Uh, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Uh, you might have a seat. Let's go to Ezekiel 33 to tell you how serious is this. Ezekiel 33, verse 13. And almost finishing. Two more verses, two more words, and that's it. Ezekiel 33, 13. When I shall say to the righteous, how many righteous in the house? Yes. So God is talking to you. That he shall surely live. How many know that we're living because of him? Amen. Uh -huh. There we go. If he trusts to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all, I mean all, his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for this iniquity, that he hath committed 
he shall die for it. Oh, I don't hear the praises now. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to die, correct? Mm-hmm. Now, what it means, really, don't panic. How many of you knows that God is just? What it means, if you fall from grace and you stay down, knowing that you have all the help in the world, and the church has the tools, the mechanism, the people to help you out, and you do nothing and you stay down, then that word applies to you and me. But if you fall and you say, God, I'm so sorry, and you cry it out, and then you depart and stay away for whatever makes you fall, then that word does not apply to you. Can anybody give him praise now? Mm -hmm. Now, he talks about one word, key word, is iniquity. Mm -hmm. Say with me, iniquity. Everybody here, me, everybody, 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 has the old man in a sleeping mode. Can I have a witness? Mm -hmm. It talks about iniquity. The word iniquity means iniquity is the character that push you to sin. It's not sin. It's the character. It's the mentality. It's a wicked heart. Why? Hell is full of Christians. Hello, somebody. Full. Nobody is supposed to be in that place. But because we neglect his ways. You know, because the problem is that God's way is not our way. Amen. We are used to many ways that is not God's way. Amen. Because of culture, because your core belief, core belief is the way when you are in your country and you are raised as a kid, as a baby, as a toddler, as a 10 years old, 15, and then you... You are growing with the core of beliefs that you see all around. Yeah. Yeah. And that mold you or who you are yeah. in your youth. If you don't take care of that in your youth, then you become a woman and, then, and a man. Yeah. You still messed up. On, Very bad. Yeah. Because you were supposed to take care of that. Yeah. That's why these young people in the house, they are exactly judged as the adults. Because they have no excuse. Yeah. They have better brain. Yeah. They don't pay rent. They don't have to deal with all the things we go through. And then they are in church. Not the, the young people in this church. I'm talking about the one in Far Rockaway. No, no, wait a minute. Well, no. Uh, Los Angeles. I don't wanna get I don't wanna get in trouble. Yeah. It's the youth in Los Angeles. All right? Far away from here. They go to church. They go to church. How many knows those those guys? I seen it. They go to church yeah. and they uh, play church. Yeah. How do I know that they play church? The way they behave. Yeah. What they do, whatever is in service, yeah. they don't honor God. Yeah. They're just playing around and they're not paying attention. Yeah. And they don't do, they don't subject to the consequences and the commissions and the things that God demands. God word is for everybody. No, it's not age. It's not for the old. It's for everybody. Amen. Come on now. Let's be real. Because I know I'm young. No, you don't get away with it. You have the responsibility, the responsibility at your age to see God in the spirit and in truth. Yes. Why? On, Daniel was a kid. Yes. David was a kid. Yes. And all these people, they were children. Yes. Many of them were young people. Yes. Oh, my God. But they fear God. Yes. And then... The same fear in the youth is supposed to be in the old. Yes. Because the, 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 the word of God judge everyone yes. according to your situation. So there's no excuse. To the youth here, I thank God that you don't play church. I thank God that you pay your tithes. Uh -huh. What's that silence, my God? I bless God that you obey my father and my mother. Hello, somebody. I, I bless God that you do your course at home because that's only for a while. Then somebody else is going to do it for you. Hello, somebody. 
And that you are really, really, when you come to church, you come to give him praise and honor and glory as an adult, as one. That when the Bible says in the spirit and in truth, that's what it means. Because two are worshiping, three are on the phone, two are doing whatever. And that's why we don't see the miracles, signs, a wonder in the house of God. Oh no, three amen. In the book of Acts, the common denominator for the Holy Ghost to fall down as fire. What? One accord, unity. I wish I could have a church like that. I wish we could be one accord when it comes to the things of God. That is only the old people, everybody, the children. They, no, 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 no. Whose responsibility is to teach the children? The parents, not the pastor. Rebuke the devil. Don't bring your kids here and say, the whole, the, uh, what you call it? The school. The, uh, what you call it? The Sunday school. You're going to let the Sunday school to teach your children. Anybody who does that, you need to born again. It's your responsibility. The problem is, if you don't have nothing, you cannot give nothing. Your tank, your tank, your spiritual tank has to be full at all times. That's why we see what we see. I was sitting, huh? Yes. I was sitting on the temple yesterday by myself on the nice chair. And I was meditating on God's glory. I said, God, if you only touch everybody in this place, that we will be one. Not only when we praise you, but when we serve you. In the spirit and in truth, yes. I want to see the wonders and the miracles yes. and the greatness of you in this house, God. Yes. Do, I said, God, do whatever it takes. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. How many takes the, the challenge? Let's lift up your hand. How many take the challenge? To say, God, do whatever it takes. Come on, lift up your hand. You want to see miracles, wonders, and signs? I'm tired. I don't know about you. I'm tired. Come on. Say with me, God, do whatever, whatever it takes. Change me. Use me. Let me lift up your name in the spirit and in truth. Give him praise in the house. Bless God. I finished with the last word on your feet. My time is up. I don't know what time it is, but I don't want to be long. My last word. Uh, First Peter 2 9. It's about identity, who you are in Christ. Who you are in Christ. Who you are. There are people that are lost in the limbo of identity. In the things of God. First Peter 2 9. But you are chosen generation. Oh, I wish you could praise him for that. Tell your neighbor. Act like a chosen one. Uh huh. Tell your your neighbor on the other side. Act like a chosen person. Oh. Uh huh. A royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be king. Nobody wants to be a priest. What is a priest? What does he do? 
You know what a priest do? Intercedes between man and God. Do you know that you are the priest? No, no. The people in the, in the front, yes, they, they know. But in the back, I don't hear nobody. How many are priests in the house? Yeah. When God says that you're acting up, that you're behaving as a chosen one, and then you do, you're doing God's will in your life, because you're supposed to be talking. When God tells you to speak, you're supposed to unleash your tongue. And now use your tongue to talk nonsense. Garbage. And I'll be judging nobody. Nobody. Because the same way you judge, you shall be judged. Then you never take judgment off. Yeah, take it off. Uh huh. That place needs a lot of priests to bring people to the house. We had to de develop. An evangelistic team to go out there and bring him up. And bring him up like a prisoner to the house of God. That they could feel the sweetness, the aroma of the Holy Spirit. How many are willing to be a priest? The first place to be a priest is in your house. Don't tell me you're going to be a priest in the house of God. And you are not a priest in your house. Let's bring order in the house. When I have my church in the Bronx, nobody who pays no tithes cannot serve God. I was extremely rigid. She knows that she's here. No one. You pay tithes, you can work for God. Because we have to obey the rule and bring order. We cannot keep working out of order. I don't care who it is. Could be anybody. Could be an associated pastor like I am. If I don't pay my tithes, you cannot preach. Or a musician, or a singer, or whoever, or an usher. Anybody that got the hands in the pot. If you're not straight, you cannot serve. Why? That's a principle. There is a principle. God is holy. I think if we play with fire, the, the hang of God is going to be upon this place. Only one. It takes one. How many knows that? It takes just one to get out of the line. And God's judgment is upon the house. We see in the book of Joshua, that one man that said, do not touch the things that are iniquity, the things from the enemy. Nothing, nothing. And this guy, because he had iniquity in his heart, took a, what you call it, gold and a cap, no, what you call it, uh, what? A spoiler. Yeah, yeah. And God said, do not touch that. What he did? He thinks that God don't see everything. He buried under his tent. Nobody saw it. Absolutely nobody knew. The only one that knew what was in the tent was God Almighty. And then Israel went to war. And they lost. They're not supposed to lose. Because they are God's people. Hello. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get into that. They are God's people. There's no battle that is in front of us that we cannot miss it. Because the Lord Almighty is upon you and me. Now, when you may stop in God's house, the judgment of God comes for everybody. Tell your neighbor, straight up. Straight by yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I got one minute. A holy nation.
Mm. Uh -huh. Say with me, holy. We sing it. We get emotional, emotional. You know what I know that what we sing is true? When we are at church and you are in the supermarket or somebody takes the parking spots. <laughs> Can I keep on? Oh, oh, oh. Men's eyes roll when the ladies with tight pants pass by. Uh huh. And some women, not in this house, in Los Angeles, Amen. when they see a strong man with a seven, seven what? Six pack. Oh, God. With a six pack like me, they see, wow, papi. Wow. They don't need to say it. But it's the heart that is talking, and God is listening. Mm -hmm. And then we sing. And living with God, and living with God, we're going to heaven, we go to heaven. And then when judgment comes, and the books are open. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hello, somebody. That's serious business. Help me, somebody. Tell your neighbor, help me. Tell your neighbor, tell seven people, help me. I don't want to go to hell. Tell them, tell them, I don't want to go to hell. Oh, I don't want to go to hell. Hell no, I don't want to go to hell. Yeah. Because it's so easy to go to hell. You don't need to, you don't need to do much. We have a strong, a mighty enemy. That, that's why when we pray, they said, Father, deliver us. How, how many prays that pray? You know, I was praying that yesterday. I said, I should pray this every day. I should confess God every day of my life. God, I confess you, my Savior, every day, every day, every day, every day. Because we need to make sure, to make sure that you're going to heaven. Oh, glory to God. And when I'm by myself, I have party. I say, yes, God, I'm, I'm living. I'm going home. I'm going home. The devil is a liar, you know? Keep saying and, and quoting the word, the word, the word, and somebody, and somebody. Because the devil, or oh, listen to me, the devil tells many people, you know, body. Can I have a witness here? That's the big lie from the devil. Your chosen generation. Mm. So we show forth the precious thing who have called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Tell your neighbor, turn off the light. No, but say it like you mean it. Go, take it by the neck. Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Turn off the light. Yes. The light, the light is not supposed to be off. Hello? Turn on the light. I'm speaking Spanish? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, turn it on. The thing is to turn it on. If you have it off, turn it on. How do I know the light is on? When temptation comes. When you're in the house of God and, and they actually say, sit over here. No, I'm not sitting there. Uh-huh. Can I keep on? No, 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 no. I'm not sitting there. That's so simple. Just obey. Let me stop. I, because I want no enemies. I want people to talk to me. Uh-huh. Let's pray. Let's pray. Yeah, because we're never going to finish this. Let's pray. Let's pray. I want the team to come up. Yeah, this is some that says uh, the water, uh, whatever, take me in the water, whatever. How, how is it that goes? 
Take me to the waters. Yeah, take me to the waters, whatever. We're going to sing that song because we need to submerge in God's water. Hello, hello. Let's submerge. Holy Ghost. Thank you. God's water. And God's word is just the word of God. The word, the word, the word, the word, the word. We need to fall in love with the word of God. We need to, we need to. We're not supposed to be in hell. That's not for us. The second death, it means hell. Close your eyes. Think about you this moment. Don't think about your husband, your neighbor. Close your eyes. Is there anything in your life? That you know that you know that if God comes right now, your salvation is at stake. This is serious business. God is talking. Is there anything that doesn't allow you to grow, to grow, to grow, to grow? To fall in love with the word and, and connect yourself the way you're supposed to be connected. Let's sing and let's praise God and meditate, we meditate. We honor you, God. Yes, you call. Lord. You call me out. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail. And there I find, and there I find. You in the mystery in oceans deep, my faith will stand. So I will, and I will call upon your name.
in the presence of my Savior. to us the Lord tells us take heed take warning for I am coming as a thief in the night I shall come where will you be will you be sleeping will you be watching I have left you out of the hole I have left you I have left you with the Holy Spirit. Where is it in your heart? Do you put it to sleep? Is it within you, says the Lord? He wants you. I have given him to you. Thus says the Lord, I have given him to you. Where is it in you? Is it sleeping? Do you put it aside? I am your comforter, says the Holy Spirit. I speak to you. I stir you up. I give you warning. Do you listen? Do you listen when I speak? Do you allow it to stir you up when I speak? speak consequences will come over my people it's because I died for you my people I love you I gave my blood but I've given you the comfort search your heart search your heart and awaken yourself within the Holy Spirit before it's too late Amen. I have paid the price says Amen. the Lord Amen. do not sleep do not neglect the warning signs that my comforter that has sent you yes. for I am coming swiftly Amen. I am coming yes. the Lord loves us he says he loves us 
But do we love him enough, says the Lord. Take heed. For I have given you warning over and over again. Do not sleep. Stay awake. Do not let the comforts of life become the hunger of salvation, says the Lord. But allow yourself to starve within the things of the world. And nourish yourself with the holes in that Messiah. Nourish yourselves in what I have given you as a warning that I shall come again. And I will rise up my people unto my throne. For the price has been paid. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. Thus says the Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We worship the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you for speaking to us today. We are grateful, O oh God, that we know that you love us, that you will speak to us today. Thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit. And thank you, God, for ministering to our hearts this morning. God, I pray and trust, Lord, that we will yield ourselves to your word. And that we live, oh God, like if today is the last that we have. That we honor you in everything that we do and say, Almighty God, our word, our thought and deed, oh God, will be aligned, God, Father, so that it can please you in every way possible. Thank you, God, Father, for all those who have heard your word today. And may it find good grounds today. Let it germinate and bear the fruits, O oh God, that is expected, Almighty God, that every person, O oh God, Father, will enjoy the fruits, O oh God, when it manifests. Thank you today, O oh God, for all that you have done and for this time in your presence. Meet every need today, God. I pray, Almighty God, those who are struggling with guilt, those who are wavering in their faith, Almighty God, as a result, O oh God, maybe of things that have been done to them or things they are doing, that the word has bring conviction in their heart and they feel condemned, O oh Lord. Father, your word does not condemn us to push us away, but God to come back to you. He said, therefore, there is no condemnation to them who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And so I pray today your word is life and it is truth. That we will yield ourselves to your word and get back to the place, O oh God, that you have called us to. I pray the word and the message that we shared, God. That, Lord, you will take notes today. O oh God, records are being taken, O oh God. That the burden of proof, O oh God, Father, has been piling up, Lord. So that there is no doubt, O oh Lord, Father, God, that when we... when God, man and woman stand before you on that day. God, there will nothing that will be falsified. But Lord, Father, God, I pray this morning, just as, oh God, Paul said in Colossians, that you will, oh God, blot out the ordinances, oh God, that is against us with the blood of Jesus. Lord, I pray today if we have sin in word and thought and in deed, O oh God, in sin of commission and omission, that you'll forgive us, Lord. Wash us clean today, God, from every filth, O oh God. Everything that, O oh God, suppress our walk with you, suppress our joy, O oh God. Remove it today, Almighty God. I pray that we will live holy and we will live right before you, that your word will be the standards that we live by each and every day. Help us, Almighty God, today, Lord, and cleanse us today from every sin. As, O oh God, David says, 
Oh God, forgive us, Lord, according to the, oh God, multitude of your tender mercies. Blood of our transgression, pardon our iniquity, and forgive us of all of our sins. God, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us today, I pray. That your purpose and your will be done in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.